Monday, people. Okay, so y'all know I've been doing these videos talking about life on the other side of obesity and just, you know, women, womanhood, dating, sex, um, just emotions, things I'm experiencing for myself on the other side of obesity that I did not necessarily deal with when I was obese because it just wasn't my journey. Um, I had a different journey, but um, I just left a workout with my friend, Joy, she's a she's a trainer and we just had you know a conversation, you know, just now that like something she said really stood out to me. She's like, Liana, it's not just that you have a new physical body, it's also that you are you have this new body of emotions. And that really stood out to me because she's absolutely right. My physical body plays such a, a major role in what my emotions were at that time. You know, so whether my emotions at that time had to do with shame or feelings of unworthiness or those types of you know emotions or, or just kind of feeling like I wanted to hide all the time or or like I always needed to feel um, comfortable or safe with people it was just issues not issues but but um, sexuality sexual desire just um, emotions so I, I had like this external desire like of like one day I'm going to be married one day I'm going to have children but it wasn't very like real time you know um and you can have these these desires for yourself and kind of have this this fairy tale like down the line one day that'll be my story but um and I think I allowed so much of my my thought process about those things to be hindered by the fact that I was obese like and so I didn't think that those were real options for me um, and so I didn't function in that, in that space, but here I am, you know, um, 30 years old, went on this four year journey of losing 180 pounds. I'm not obese anymore. I have a new body. Um, I'm starting to, and it was automatic because for a certain time I, I wasn't, you know, I thought because other people told me that um losing the weight when i was losing the weight other people told me like oh men are going to start flocking to you and blah 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 which has also been part of my my journey you can watch my other videos where i called them um they lied to me um because it didn't happen like that i'm starting to realize that it wasn't just that i got a new body and that that was going to automatically have men um flack to me but there's also now this new set of emotions that I'm that I'm journeying through emotions of a new kinds of fears of rejection right because I may have feared rejection in other ways when I was obese but now I fear rejection because the idea or the desire to be in relationship is starting to be more prevalent in my life um and I find myself dealing with new emotions in my new body fears of rejection fears that even though I lost all this weight fears of feeling like my body still isn't small enough or how will you feel about my excess skin or all these kinds of things or just even fears of like I feel so unexperienced that my lack of experience with men and my lack of experience with dating and my lack of experience in this world makes me feel very insecure about myself as a woman. I feel like I'm going through things that 16 year olds are going through or 17, I don't know. I feel like in one person, I'm 65 and 16 at the same time. Like I'm very mature in, in certain areas of my life. And then I feel like in this area, I'm very immature and inexperienced. And so it starts to create a lot of insecurity in me. I realize I have a lot of insecurity about dating and flirting if a man's gonna ask me when was my even when I'm asked like when was your you know your longest relationship I get very uncomfortable with saying like actually never and they're like really you know when I'm 30 years old or like I just get really uncomfortable with feeling um with with those types of questions and it, it starts to make me feel um like I said insecure and, and inadequate um and really me challenging these new emotions that I'm that I'm dealing with in this new state um, my longest relationships or even when we start to have the conversations about degrees of sexual engagement that I'm willing to have I just feel like I start to feel like I need to prove something um, or the, I, I don't know but I realize that this stuff is starting to surface in me so even when I do see a guy flirting with me or showing me attention or looking my way or whatever even though I want it at the same time I get deathly afraid I get deathly afraid that I'm not enough 
I get deathly afraid that I haven't experienced enough. I get deathly afraid that I, I don't have a mature experience to bring to the table. And it starts to really make me feel like I'm not enough who I am today, right now. Um, and all of this started coming to my mind when my friend said to me, Liana, like with a new body, you also have new emotions. You have a new body of emotions. You have this, these new things that are that are coming to the surface that were not a part of the, the discussion or your 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 processing at, at at the other time in life, you know. So I'm realizing that like I'm just navigating kind of what it means for me to be a sexual being, but it, I'm also navigating the reality of like I'm also um, really insecure and really afraid because I feel like I don't have enough to bring to the table. Um, and so I'm dealing with that. I'm dealing. I'm dealing with that, and I and I'm you know kind of restructuring my story and saying like I'm enough who I am today, you know. Um, but not just saying it, but really asking myself like what does that mean and how do, therefore how do I show up in my relationships with men and when they're pursuing me and um, you know like without feeling like I have to kind of make up for something, but that it's okay for me to just to just be me. Whatever that means for me, whatever that means to me. So, um, as I'm navigating life on the other side of obesity, and I'm saying I want to be married, I want to have children, I want to build a life with someone. Um, it's a very uh, vulnerable, a vulnerable place that I'm in right now. Um, yeah, hope any of that made sense. All right, talk to you guys.